Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play Pico 8 video. Tonight we're going to be playing a game called Null, which is a new intriguing title I saw pop up on the um, BPS very recently. I haven't played it at all as yet. I just wrote a description for it. Thought, yeah, this sounds kind of interesting. And thought I would share it with you all first. So let's just get into it and see what Null is about. Okay. Hmm. Intriguing start. So it's an adventure type game with a, a mysterious story and mysterious happenings. Ooh, what's going on here? These ghosts or something? Ooh. Intriguing indeed. Well, there's a big cluster of them over there. I wonder what that's about. Go and have a look in a minute. So, yeah. Nice music so far. We suits the atmosphere and cre well, helps create the atmosphere. Visuals functional, they do the job. Maybe could be a little better, but you know, they're, they're fine. They certainly convey what they need to. So, yeah, it's a bit creepy, isn't it? I'm somewhat reminded, actually, already, of, um, there's a game you can play, it's not on Pico 8, it's, but it is a download that you can get, um, called Faith, and um, I've got a video of it, actually, I played it last year, it's Windows only, and I'm a Mac user, so I had to use a VM to play it, but, yeah. It's kind of giving me that kind of um, vibe, just by virtue of its creepiness. Although Faith was more of a horror type game, where this one, not really sure what's going on yet. So, whilst I've been rambling, I've also been pulling a couple of levers. There was one over in the corner I just pulled, which opened. Well, I don't know what it opened, but the one up there opened this. Oh, what's this? I have a ticket. I see. And so I'm in a train station, so... No prizes for guessing what the ticket is for. Or, like the Americans like to say, you do the math! Anyway. So how do I board this train then? So yeah, I've already been there. So that must be the station clock. Oh, what's this? Oh, did I walk past that earlier? I probably did. Train station with no train but lots of ghosts. Ah, so this is the train track. Aha! Huh? Alright.
What's going on here? Hmm. How was? So, down in the middle of nowhere, there's some ugly ice sort of a pattern <clears throat> and a weird disembodied head type thing floating around me as I walk. What happens if I go over to? Not a lot. So I keep on walking and it just wraps around by the looks of it. So yeah, this game's probably more surreal than creepy, but it's still fairly creepy by virtue of being so surreal, if you get my meaning. Um, obviously a big part of it is figuring out what to do and what the hell's going on. And right now I am a little confused. back to the uh, train track, will it let me do that? Ah, something's different, so his eyes aren't glowing anymore, his expression's changed, but I still can't interact with it. Carry on walking upwards because that's what seems to uh, appear to trigger that change. I've also noticed the ah, yeah, there's like arrows on top of the uh, head thing there. So now that seems telling me to go right by the looks of it. So right, then up. Can't figure out what that is. Is that down? Get back down the way I can, really. Okay, let's try that. Now it's starting to go up again. Hmm. That pattern is really doing my eyes in, to be honest. I'm gonna, when I close my eyes after I finish that game, I'm gonna sort of, I'm just gonna be seeing that shit under my eyelids. Good God. Right. Okay, can I walk up? No, I can't walk over the edge of there. So what we have here in this game. Hmm. It's a series of uh, very surreal environmental puzzles by the looks of it. Oh. Something tells me that whatever I've got to do here has got something to do with these eyes. Perhaps they shouldn't be... I must avoid their gaze. I bet that's what it is. Yep, appears to be the thing to do. And also I've got to avoid it from two directions now. Oh. One thing I like about these Pico 8 games is that they take you back to the, uh, for those of us old enough to remember, the 
eight bit days where you often didn't you didn't have tutorials and you didn't know what the hell was going on with a lot of games, you just start them and you had to figure it out yourself. That's that spirit has certainly been retained in a lot of uh, Pico 8 stuff and And it's it's somewhat refreshing at times. Yeah, this is intriguing indeed. Grove. So what's going on here? Some worm type things here, just Green things following. What's this? So, what's the significance of this green thing then? Let's see if we can interact with any of these uh, other. Are they worms? They look like worms, or caterpillars, or something. interact with any of these apart from that this one here every time I go anywhere near that thing it disappears very quickly so am I supposed to catch it maybe Seems to be able to do that. I turn my back on it. It follows me. Hmm. Interesting. It's like it wants me to go this way. Oh, now it's gone again. Oh, now it's back. Oh, now it's gone. Uh, <clears throat> so I've got to do all this again, have I? Run away. 
to complete that time. Definitely wants me to go this way. Now what? This way? No? So I'm just going back on myself here. What is the meaning of this? So, that one has completely stumped me. I really don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing on this bit. And it looks like I've scared off that thing. I'll just give this one more quick try and then I might have to end the video because I'm I'm a little lost. Okay. I'm sure you don't want to uh, really watch me chasing some little green ball around the screen for much longer. So I will end the video here. This is Null on Pico 8, a curious little surreal puzzle game that appears to have some kind of story to it as well, which is definitely making me want to see this through and figure out what's going on, but I don't think that's going to happen in this particular playthrough, so I'm going to end the video here, come back to this again at some point. Yep, I definitely recommend trying this out, seeing what you think of it, seeing how far you get. From what I've been told, from what I've seen on the uh, BBS, there's multiple endings to this, and you can do different things to get different outcomes. Well, I guess I've got all that to come, haven't I? But, yep, thank you for watching. See you next video.